Hello everyone. So here we're doing exercise 4.2. First question. This is from simple equation of class 7. So the question is give first the step you will use to separate the variable and then solve the equation. So we have around 8 questions to solve here. They're asking us what you would do and then they're asking us to solve it. Let's start doing this. So we got a solutions here. So first one A. Uh, so if you observe here x minus 1 is equal to 0 so we have to separate this minus 1 with the, on the left hand side that is on the LHS side so for that I have to add 1 on both the side so add 1 on both the side both the side of equation So this will gonna give us if I add 1 on both the side of equation so this will gonna give us so x minus 1 and I'm adding plus 1 on both the side so again 1 you can write down plus 1 or if you just leave 1 that will be fine so we know that minus 1 plus 1 is 0 so x plus 0 or minus 0 if you don't write also that's okay so x is equal to 1 is a solution here the next one x plus 1 is equal to 0 now see I want to remove that plus 1 here so for to remove plus 1 I cannot add 1 more here if I add 1 here 1 plus 1 become 2 so I have to subtract 1 here so that it will become if, uh, the 1 will be gone from the LHS side so we can write down subtract subtract 1 on both the side of on both both the side of equation okay so this we're gonna give us x plus 1 minus 1 is equal to minus 1 I'm subtracting so plus 1 minus 1 here it becomes 0 so x is equal to minus 1 is a answer the next one x minus 1 is equal to 5 again this is similar to the first one only we have to subtract so we have to add a 1 on both the sides so that minus 1 plus 1 will become 0 let's do this so we are doing C so add a 1 on both the side of equation so this will gonna give us x minus 1 plus 1 is equal to 5 plus 1 so minus 1 plus 1 is 0 so it will become x is equal to 6 then the next one x plus 6 is equal to 2 so we have to remove the 6 from here so we have to subtract 6 so that plus 6 and minus 6 will become 0 so let's change this so we're doing here d so subtract 6 on both the side of equation so this is x plus 6 minus 6 is equal to 2 minus 6 so plus 6 minus 6 will become 0 so x is equal to 2 minus 6 is minus 4 that's it then e y minus 4 is equal to minus 7 so minus 4 is given so we cannot subtract we should add 4 here so that minus 4 plus 4 will become 0 let's make some changes here we're doing uh, e bit So add 4 on both the side of equation. So y minus 4 plus 4 is equal to minus 7 plus 4. So minus 4 plus 4 it will get cancelled. It becomes 0. So y is equal to minus 7 plus 4. Since opposite sign, different signs are there. We to subtract it. We will get 3. Since 7 is a greater number with a minus sign. So put minus. That's it. The next one y minus 4 is equal to 4 this is similar to what we have just done we have to add 4 on both the sides so that minus 4 plus 4 will get cancelled so we're gonna make a change here itself I'm gonna change in this question itself so I'm doing f here so add 4 on both the side of equation so y minus 4 plus 4 is equal to 4 plus 4 so this is y is equal to 8 that's it 
then the next one y plus 4 is equal to 4 so from here we have to subtract 4 so the plus 4 minus 4 will become 0 so let's do some changes so here I'm just gonna change this so we are gonna do the g here so subtract 4 on both the side of equation so y plus 4 minus 4 is equal to 4 minus 4 so this will become y from the left hand side plus 4 minus 4 is 0 and right hand side also 4 minus 4 is 0 so y is equal to 0 as the answer the last one y plus 4 is equal to minus 4 again we have to subtract 4 from the both the sides so I'm going to do a changes here itself in the last question so we're doing h so subtract 4 on both the side of equation so y plus 4 minus 4 is equal to minus 4 and again minus 4 so 4 plus 4 4 minus 4 is 0 but minus minus since both number have a same sign so we have to add it so 4 plus 4 is 8 now with the minus sign because both numbers have a negative here that's it so it was simple question here i hope you have understood in case you have a question or doubt you can drop a comment below and thank you so much for watching